When do you feel like things between you and Dana started to dissolve? He was uh, before the CPA fight um, because I negotiated the contract. Before the con my last contract was uh, negotiated at that moment, and um, it took me it took me almost three years to figure out what what was the problem. But I think the problem was because during all this negotiation, I said something to Dana White, and this was by completely mistake. I didn't even know what I meant at that time, but I think like he felt attacked, he felt threatened by that when I said, doesn't matter, we can make a deal for this fight. Uh, we just focus on the Stipe fight because I was making that, that deal like six weeks before the fight and they were pushing me and I didn't even have time to find a manager. Then I'm like, okay, I will do it my own on my own. And then sitting there with him, I'm like, Let's just focus on this one. We can negotiate even after every fight. I think that was the thing that I said to Dana. And you shouldn't say something to, like that to somebody like Dana White. Why do you think that would have bothered him so much? Well, the whole business is based on the contract. How, how many people is tied in the contract? The most fight you have in the contract, that's how the big, the big business is. If the business doesn't have anybody, uh, if they don't have anybody on the contract, what is the value of the business? Mm. No. So based on, on, on that comment, you feel like his interpretation was that your ego is out of control just because you said, let's just focus on this fight and go one fight at a time. That was what led him to say what he said at that press conference in July of 2018? Yes. And at that time, I didn't know. You know, I was still um, ignorant about it. I didn't know what happened. Then with time goes by, I have some information that we talk, I talk with them, with Hunter, they express, they tell me how Dana is mad about me and what he's, why he's mad, you know, and uh, what he said. Then after cert some certain period of time, I collect all the information and that was the only thing that could have been the cause. Because, you know, uh, I try it to, for the next two years, I trying to figure out like what really happened. You know, I, I felt really bad. Like, okay, I, I mistaken somewhere. I did something wrong. I tried to find out. We even have him, uh, asked for a meeting to go meet Dana at his office with Markel and trying to clear the air, like ask what happened, this, and he never said exactly what happened, mm. you know. I was busting my head for nothing until I find out what exactly was it. Is, is it true that you said to him, get the jet ready before the first uh, Stipe fight? Well, uh, the first time that I met uh, Dana was uh, in Denver when I fought uh, Alovsky. Okay. And then I couldn't even speak, I couldn't even speak French, uh, English properly. But I, I said to Dana, I tried to say to Dana, like, okay, when I have the belt, when I get the belt, I had like to go in France in the private jet, you, you know. And he said, "You get it, my man." You know, at that time, Dana was all Francis, and he said, "You get it." So when I was going to fight uh, Stipe, you know, um, I think in the fight week I saw him, but he was already pissed. You know, I didn't know that, but he was already pissed. Then I said, "Get the get jet ready, my man," which is like what we talk about it was a promise right so when you say get a, that jet ready the jet that we spoke about you know i don't think i don't see any ego in that in that that couldn't be a problem that wasn't a problem that was the excuse okay and and recently like in the last year uh, i'd also heard that you had dinner with him like i think maybe you saw each other at a restaurant even when you had dinner, like in a casual <coughs> setting, did you guys ever, or did you have an opportunity to just like be like, hey man, like, can we start over? Can we clear the air? Why does it seem like we're not on the, like, did any of that come up? And, and is that dinner a real thing? Did that happen? <laughs> you know, the, um, the only dinner that I had with Dana was, um, was when we have, um, after the, uh, a Syrian gun fight. Yeah. When he didn't come to the press conference. Yeah. Yes. Then they reached out to Eric, trying to figure out, invite for a dinner. 
Yes, that's when we had, that's the only time that I had dinner with Dana. And, and they was trying to tell me that they want me to be there. Uh, they want me to stay in the USA. And I said to them, like, I want to stay in the USA. I want to be in the USA, but I don't feel like the USA want me anymore. You know, it's been a long time that I don't have a promoter. I'm in the promotion, but I don't have a promoter, you know. And I've been feeling that in the past three or four years. Hmm. I don't have a promoter. 